sulfate index mineral or the porphyroblast of storolite see these darker brown color these are the storolite okay and this is the corderite and this green dark portion is corderite and this is the garnet porphyroblast okay this is bigger one these are the metamorphic index minerals channel this is Sangeeta so today I will cover the metamorphic petrology in one video so I will discuss only the important part which is necessary for the examination and you can read out the rest part from the uh, PPT or the PDF which I will share on my telegram page okay so metamorphic petrology is the study of subsolidus changes that a rock undergo when exposed to physical chemical condition different from those prevailing near the surf surface of earth okay so what is metamorphism it is different from the uh, condition which are occurring on the surface of earth okay suppose if there is a rock on the surface it will be called as slate and if subduction is going on of the oceanic crust beneath the continental crust then this shale will be converted into phyllite then after this phyllite will be converted into schist then knees okay so these conditions are different from the uh, surface of earth condition which are occurring okay and metamorphism it's commonly isochemical means the elements are not getting gained or lost just the mineral is getting transformed okay so if there is a uh, rock which is made of quartz suppose if it is a sedimentary rock it will change into quartzite okay so if it is a sandstone which is cons consisted of quartz it will change to quartzite that all the things which are taking place they are taking place only in the solid state okay no melting is going on in metamorphic rocks okay all metamorphic rocks they have a parent rock okay so this parent rock it can be igneous or it can be sedimentary it can be an igneous rock which is getting converted with high temperature and pressure into a metamorphic rock or it can be a sedimentary rock and the parent rock is called as protolith in metamorphic petrology important temperatures are mentioned over here which is 200 degree celsius then 700 degree celsius then 1200 okay so before 200 degree celsius there will be process which is, will be related to sedimentary you can say it, it is a diagenesis process which will be occurring on this temperature between 150 to 200 and about 200 to 700 you will see there will be increasing pressure and temperature okay in this phase the metamorphism will occur okay this is the metamorphic environment and after 700 degree celsius the melting will start because this is a magma okay this is a magma and due to the intrusion of this magma the metamorphism is happening right and something which will be near to magma it will be totally in a melt phase so there when there will be complete melting these are the igneous environment and in between 200 to 700 degrees celsius it will be a metamorphic environment all right you will better understand with this diagram here you can see the granite is written which is magma and the rocks which is nearer to it they will definitely get metamorphosed because here the temperature is very high okay so suppose if there is limestone then the rock which is nearer to it it will get changed into marble all right also one more thing you can see different bands over here with increasing or decreasing temperature these different bands are called as metamorphic aureole which is very common in the contact metamorphism condition okay and the facies which is very common in contact metamorphism is albite epidote facies hornblende facies pyroxene facies and senedinite facies all right so you will wonder why pyroxene is written over here why not hornblende will be written over here right so this concept is related to bowman reaction series in which at 1200 degrees celsius you will find olivine then pyroxene after pyroxene you will find the amphiboles okay and here you will find anerthite and albite so by this concept you will get to know that at higher temperature you will get pyroxene near to the magma intrusion and after pyroxene when temperature will start to decrease you will find hornblende and then albite and epidote faces so 
what drives metamorphism we know that heat and pressure and third is metamorphic fluids right so how much temperature is required it is 200 to 850 degrees celsius in between this temperature metamorphism will occur right and what is the pressure it is 2 to 12 kilobar range highly dependent upon the temperature and pressure as you can see in this diagram this is the increasing pressure and this is increasing temperature and this is the increasing depth so you can clearly see that with increasing temperature you are getting semiluminite okay with increasing pressure you will get kyanite you know that geothermal gradient it exists so with increasing depth the temperature will also increase okay with increasing depth the temperature it is also increasing about 25 degrees celsius per kilometer and in the case of quantum automorphism as i have discussed the rising mental plume it will be the source of heat second one is the confining pressure so there are two type of pressure one will be confining and another will be uh, the differential stress okay so confining pressure we call also say it is lithostatic pressure hydrostatic pressure okay here the force apply will be equal in all direction yeah so be one 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 in case of differential stress what will happen force are unequal in different direction so two type of differential stress is there one is normal and another one is shear and in case of normal it will be tension either it will get extended or get compressed and in case of shear we know that there will be sideways movement like this it is a very common result of the uh, deviatoric stress or differential stress so here if sigma 1 is greater than sigma 2 and sigma 3 then collation will occur no radiation will occur it if sigma 1 is greater than sigma 2 and greater than sigma 3 then delineation will be occur and no foliation and if sigma 1 is greater than 2 and sigma 2 is greater than sigma 3 then both foliation delineation will occur okay you these are the planar structure that result from the parallel alignment of sheet silicate minerals yeah. so and they develop in the deviostoric stress or you can call as differential stress okay which is non-hydrostatic i want to discuss the s0 and s1 uh, bedding surface over here see here in the shale we know that they have basal cleavage which which is on 001 plane or not not one plane okay so these these are the original bedding and these are called as S0 or S0 in metamorphic. Okay, metamorphic petrologist and structural geologists refer to the original bedding surface. Okay, this is this will be the original bedding surface and anything which will be formed after this, this it will be called as S1 or S3. Okay, this is the D0. Okay, deformation is not occurring over here. S1 is deformation phase 1 and D1 is deformation phase 1 and D2 is deformation phase 3. So here you can see original bed is there and deformation is developing like this. Then you will mark it as S1. Okay. So I just wanted to tell you what is S0 and S1. Let's move to the next topic the metamorphic fluid so metamorphic fluid it generally leads to the chemical changes okay which is mostly due to the water or co2 so at ascending fluid from magma it will uh, provide this volatiles or descending fluids of the meteoric water okay so what is the proof of it that more metamorphic mineral they are hydrous proof of importance of fluid so water should be present okay so most of the metamorphic reaction involve dehydration or decarbonation here you will see muscoid react with chloride so it will result in the formation of bitite garnet quartz and what so this is the example of dehydration and this is the example of decarbonation and fluids they can also be preserved as inclusion in the metamorphic rock like here you can see this is the inclusion in the metamorphic rock deformation recovery and recrystallization which is common in the metamorphic rocks so first one is cataclastic flow okay so this will be visible on the shallower level where the temperature is bit low and the part of 
near to the magma it is more ductile in nature means it will behave in a plastic way there will be no breakage only the things it will get bend or shearing will be there right so in the brittle zone the grains it will get crushed break during that shearing process okay so mechanical fragmentation and sliding rotation of fragments will be there crush break bend grind okay you will see undulous extinction over here also shredding will be visible organ texture so in cataclastic flow we discuss the clast which is the remnant of broken larger pre deformational grain we discuss the porphyro clast which ha which is a resistant mineral it has survived all kind of crushing and all kind of process which has been going on so it survived and it remained as such so it is porphyro clast and after porphyro clast we will discuss about the pseudo tachylite which has been asked in the gate exam too so what happened that if there is one rock and another rock okay and if sharing is going on like this then what happened due to this ex extensive sharing there will be fragmentation as well as the heat will result into the melting of this much part okay so along with the fragmentation melting is also occurring over here so it will be called as pseudo tachylite this is the pseudo tachylite is most common in the area where earthquake is prominent okay and this tachylite comes from the basaltic class but the melting which is happening it is not of felsic composition it is of mafic composition and the second process is pressure solution so here you will see wherever there will be the grain contact high strain will be there so this pressure solution it will melt this part okay and it will look like this you can also say that it is serrated suture like appearance okay and here it is also visible in the thin section see third is plastic intra crystalline deformation here there will be no loss of cohesion and several processes will operate like defect migration will be there slip planes will be there dislocation glide deformation twinning these are very common over here fourth process is recovery here there will be loss of stored strain energy by the vacancy migration or by the dislocation migration or by the process of annihilation okay and the fifth fifth one is recrystallization here grain boundary migra migration will occur or there will be subgrain rotation okay the grain it will get rot rotated or it will get migrated solid state diffusion is common here crystal plastic deformation is common here here you can see how grain boundary migration is occurring see here it will be a larger grain then a bulging will occur and with diffusion it will get bigger in size okay and another case is subgrain rotation see here the grain is rotated in this way then direction is moving like this it is getting tilted and tilted like this with increasing recrystallization okay and the extreme case of uh, recrystallization is polysense uh, this is also asked in the upsc exam by the way and why i am telling you these four five processes because they have asked in this time that what are the metamorphic whether they belong to metamorphic process or not and some different uh, examples were given over there so one can get confused so it is very important to learn that these five process they belong to metamorphic okay I want to tell you about few more terms and few more things regarding these terms first one is recrystallization so recrystallization is the process in which the identity of mineral it does not change okay this is very important to know like limestone it is composed of calcite right so when this limestone it get metamorphosed it will get converted into marble okay so its composition it remains same only the the crystal it will get compressed right in crystallization what will happen the grain size it will increase okay and the number of grain it will get 
decreased. Next is phase change. During phase change, there will be creation of new mineral with same chemical formula as of protolith again. Okay, but what happens in the case of new crystallization and they have asked this in UPXZ exam too. There will be creation of new mineral different from the protolith. Okay, this is the important point which you should remember. Next is pressure solution. During pressure solution, the rock will be under strong pressure from the one direction. So during this process, what will happen? Protolith, it will partially dissolve, diffuse through the water and precipitate elsewhere. I have already shown you the picture of this pressure solution, right? Next process is metasomatism. The process result in the loss or addition of chemicals. Okay, this can be best seen in the production of anthracite coal, which is almost a pure form of carbon. Diagram is uh, which I have discussed earlier that high strain metamorphic rocks, these are the cataclysite which are found in the brittle zone at the shallow level, and as as the depth increases, you will get myelonide okay which is ductile deformation so there are three kind of criteria which are normally employed these are the mineralogical the most distinguishing minerals are used as the prefix okay usko hum pehle likhenge thus a schist containing biotite will be called as biotite schist okay next will be chemical so, if the general chemical composition can be determined from the mineral assemblage, the chemical name can be employed. For example, schist with lot of quartz and feldspar and some garnet and muscoid. So, it will be called as quartzo feldspathic because quartz was in a lot of quantity. Then there was feldspar and the main rock was schist. So, we will call it as quartzo feldspathic schist. Okay, and if it is protolithic, if rock has undergone only slight metamorphism, so original texture it will remain as such. Okay, then we will call it as, uh, we will use the term prefix meta. So it will be meta basalt, meta greywack, meta andesite. In addition to these conventions, certain non foliated rock with specific chemical composition and mineral assemblage are given names like. Amphibolite, okay. So these are medium to coarse grain, dark colored because amphiboles are there, they result from the metamorphism of basic igneous rock. So foliation is highly variable. Next one is marble, they are rock composed of calcite mostly, okay. They form by the metamorphism of limestone or dolostone. Eclogite, these are the medium to coarse grain, consist mostly of garnet. So this is very important and green color cpx or clinopyroxene is present in the eclogites this is omphysite okay so upsc has asked many times about this eclogite so after seeing this omphysite you should directly mark it as eclogite okay that result from the high grade metamorphism of basic igneous rocks okay and they do not show foliation this is very important these all are amphibolite marble these are non foliated okay and next one is quartzite. So it is made up of <coughs> quartz containing rock like sandstone. Next one is serpentinites. Serpentinites are rock that consists mostly of the serpentine. So they are formed by the hydrothermal metamorphism. Okay. Soapstone is also called as theatite. So they can ask in the different name in exam. It can be called as theatite, it can be called as soap, soap rock, and Talc schist. So, soapstone are rock that contain an abundance of talc, which give rock a greasy feel. Okay. So, talc is a magnesium rich mineral. The soapstone from form from the ultra basic igneous protoliths like peridotites, dunites, pyroxenites, usually by the hydrothermal alteration. Okay. Serpentinite, so, it is also formed by the hydrothermal metamorphism. Soapstone, it is also formed by the hydrothermal alteration. And next one is scan. So, the scans are generally composed of mineral like calcite, okay. So, it is formed by the process of metasomatism. 
Next is myelonides metamorphism. It can be on the basis of principal processes like dynamic metamorphism in which the deuteric stress it will play the major role which will result in the deformation and recrystallization. It occurs largely in the fault or shear zone like cataclysis which I have told you right here. Shearing will be more dominant which will be caused by the deuteric stress or differential stress right. Then there will be thermal metamorphism. In thermal metamorphism, heat will play the major role. In dynamothermal metamorphism, both temperature and pressure, it will play the major role. And it is also called as regional metamorphism. Okay. Now, based on the setting, there will be contact or thermal metamorphism, which is also called pyro metamorphism. Mm -hmm. Then, regional metamorphism, it will be of orogenic burial ocean floor metamorphism. Then, there will be hydrothermal metamorphism. Fault zone metamorphism, impact or shock metamorphism. Contact metamorphism, as I have told you, that uh, there will be some magma, okay, and the rock which is nearer to you, it will form some bands. Like if it is a limestone, the rock which is near to this magma, it will get converted into marble, okay. So, contact metamorphism form under condition of high temperature and see, pressure role was not. Here, here the temperature is playing the major role, right? And they are arrayed in aureoles, which I have discussed earlier, around the pluton, okay? This is the granitic pluton. So, these are the, suppose if this is the intrusion, so area which is nearer to this, it will be of increasing grade, means it will be of high temperature, okay? And it will get metamorphosed too, and the surrounding rock, which is away from this pluton, it will it will be unmetamorphosed. Like it will stay limestone only. The rock which is nearer to it, only that will get metamorphosed. So this is what it is written over here. So the size and shape of aureole is controlled by the nature of pluton and nature of the country rock. You can read them out. One more thing I want to tell you uh, while discussing the contact metamorphic thing is that the rock which is nearer to it, sometime it get converted into scan too. Okay. So what is scan? When there is role of magmatic fluid, then what will happen? In this case, the metamorphism will grade into metasomatism. Okay. If there will be a role of magmatic fluid, then it will be called as metasomatism. So what will happen? If the intruder rock is rich in carbonate, the result will be called as scan. Okay. And what is the reason? It is the <coughs> hydrothermal uh, altered granite. Okay. So, why I am discussing these two? Because they are very important in uh, the perspective of economic geology. The scan and the grisen deposit. So, scan deposit, they are economically valuable for the sources like tin, tungsten, manganese, copper. Okay. So, there are different kind of scans. Table which I have taken from one research paper. If you want that, then I can share with you. So these are the major tungsten deposit of Valda or Tosham tungsten belt or Tosh these are the found in the Tosham hills. <coughs> so first one is Degana deposit which is very famous Valda Deva Kabera and the which type of tungsten ore which we are getting over here wolframite, wolframite and the shelite okay and where we find the tin deposit we find it in Chhattisgarh okay it is cassiterite. Now uh, I want you to comment down the formula of wolframite, cassiterite and shellite in the comment box. Okay. Okay. So, result will be that mineral migrate and will, it will fuse together and there will be no foliation or alignment. Okay. Because there is a no role of uh, that much pressure in this case. But during the case of regional metamorphism, as the name suggests, it will occur over the larger area. Okay. High temperature will play the, play the role because both temperature and play uh, pressure play role in the formation of regional metamorphism. High pressure will be there. So what will happen? Mineral grain, they are getting compressed. Mineral grain, they are getting migrated. So what will eventually happen? The rock, it will display foliation. Okay. Pressure bhi lag raha hai, temperature bhi lag raha hai. So random grains, the jo bhi, it will get related like this okay will get aligned in the case of regional metamorphism 
So there are three kind of regional metamorphism, which is orogenic, burial, ocean floor. So orogenic metamorphism, it is related to the convergent plate margins. Increasing grade, like with increasing temperature, which is also called as metamorphic grade, you will find the rocks, which is called as low grade, which is of low temperature, medium grade of medium temperature. Then again, phyllite will convert into schist, which is also of medium temperature. Then high grade means high temperature rock will be there, which is called as knees. And UPSC, they ask question from simple things like if here it is written shale, then you will remember it consists of clay minerals. It is stratified, it is soft, and most importantly, it is dull in appearance. And let me tell you why I am uh, pointing out this very much because they have asked in the uh, UPSC exam that uh, which metamorphic rock has silky sheen appearance. So it is phyllite. So this is the difference between shale and phyllite. Okay. And after shale, there is slate, which is more hard and microscopic mica minerals. It will begin to form in this. There will be less air space and it will be dull shined. And after slate, phyllite, it will be more silky sheen in appearance. Okay, it will be more shiny. Then after phyllite, it will be schist. Here, mica will be visible because with increasing grade, with increasing temperature, grain size is also increasing. So that is why mica grains now they are visible in the rock. Okay. And of course, foliation will get developed. Why? See, initially there were random minerals like this. Okay. With increasing temperature and pressure, what happened? These minerals they got aligned like this. Okay. Earlier, it was randomly oriented like this. Then it got with increasing temperature pressure, it got aligned like this. So these are called as foliation, which will get developed in the schist. Okay. And in case of knees, these foliation with increasing temperature or temperature pressure, bada do, to kya hoga? there will be banding visible in the rock. This banding will be of dark color, then light color. Then again dark color, then again light color and again of dark color. So these this is called as banded appearance in the knees. Okay. So minerals separate into alternating bands. So these are the very small terms but very important as per UPSC point of view because they can ask question from these small points. Okay. And regional metamorphism koi barovinium metamorphism bhi kaha jata hai. In case of burial metamorphism, this term was given by the Coombs for the low grade metamorphism that occur in the sedimentary places due to the burial of successive layers. Okay, successive layers they, they are getting buried. Okay. So we can get different zones too due to this burial. So suppose a burial is going on and after some time it gets eroded. Okay. So we will get chloride, biotite, okay, C, B, G. Garnet, Torolite, Cyanite, and Silimonite. So these are the different kind of zones too, which we are going to study. Today, okay. So it is the common example of Gulf of Mexico. Next one is ocean floor metamorphism, <coughs> which affects the ocean crust at ocean. Suppose if two oceanic plates are there, they are getting, you know, uh, spreading away or extension is going on. Then what will happen? There will be the alterations. Suppose there will be water presence of water and magma is coming from beneath. Okay. So there will be the loss of calcium and silica and gain of magnesium and sodium. So this alteration is common over here because sea water it will penetrate down in the fracture system where it become heated and leaches metal and silica from the hot basalt. Okay. This is the basalt which is coming up above. And this is the water which is going down through the fractures which has been caused while this uh, mid-oceanic spreading was going on. So this is the another example of hydrothermal metamorphism. Another one is shock metamorphism. This occurred due to the impact of meteorite <coughs> when it collides the earth's surface. So which kind of uh, minerals we get over here? These are the coisite and 
stichoid. So this is very important. These are the silica poly polymorph. Okay. General parts along which metamorphism can take place. It can be contact morphism when there will be low pressure and high temperature. Okay. This is the temperature zone. And this is the pressure axis. And if there will be regional metamorphism, then there will be role of both pressure and temperature. And in the case of subduction zone, there will be high pressure and low temperature. Okay. So I think half of the metamorphic part is done in this video. And in the next video, I will cover the metamorphic facies, isograd and metamorphic reaction part along with AKF and ACF diagram. Okay. So thank you so much for watching my video. Do like, share and subscribe and I want 4000 subscribers. ठीक है इस मंथ तक मुझे चाहिए है यार इतनी मेहनत करी है मैंने प्लीज सब्सक्राइब कर देना और नेक्स्ट वीडियो में एक दो दिन में डाल दूंगी ओके okay? जितना भी पार्ट रह गया सो so, तब तक कीप लर्निंग एंजॉय एंड हैप्पी न्यू ईयर एडवांस में